Hi, Patrick here. Uh, have Cheetah Wheel View. Uh, it is uh, a little past 12. Um, I would have been on a little earlier, uh, but I was catching a, a live stream on Doomsday's Crypt channel. Um, so I got a little waylaid. And then I did my 2B uh, Tuesday presented by Al Lucard, our favorite bat. I don't know if that's a bat or whatever, but it is for the day. Uh, but normally you'd be hearing me say, it's Tuesday, and that can only mean one thing. It's library day. Now, I haven't done a library haul in a little bit because I haven't really had much to, to draw. Uh, I didn't go last week. Uh, the week before, I got one item. And so I didn't have anything really to talk about. But today I do. I do. I have a, I have a little bit to talk about. Um, and uh, I will show you the one item I got a couple of weeks ago. Some of you have already seen it. The vast majority of everybody else has not, but I'll, I'll, I will share that with you. Um, this one was a little bit of a combination of, of, of addition and upgrades. I upgraded some, some, some titles um, because I'm starting to see this a lot now. And this is a good thing, I guess. But I'm starting to see it. So uh, I will put out an SOS at the end of the video. And if you need some of these, uh, let me know. And I will do my best to, to find them or send what I have. Uh, uh, all right, so here we go. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to the library and there wasn't much there. And so, but I did find one series from Shout Factory. Uh, and that was, I found the complete series to my so-called life, which is a huge cult favorite. I never watched it. I never got a chance to watch it. I know a lot of stars were launched by this. Uh, this has Claire Danes in it and Jared Leto and a whole bunch of others. But I've never watched the show. Uh, I, I, there was another show about the same time that was on called Life Goes On. That show I watched, but this one I did not. Uh, so this is Shout Factory, and it's, it's a nice collection. Um, it's like a diary. And it has a little booklet here, and, uh, some pictures, and uh, inside of it has the, uh, the disc. And um, it has a little tab here so you can open it up easy. So this is my so-called life. All right. I don't have enough room for all this. Uh, I'll just go through what I got on DVDs. Um, I was glad to get another chance to get this because I I had I saw it a few weeks ago, but I didn't for some reason I forgot to grab it, and I thought, well, that's it for me. I'm never going to get a chance to see it again, but I did, and I picked up uh, Belfast. So this is Kenneth Branagh, which is a good thing because. Uh, I'm not done with Kenneth Bonick just quite yet. Because, um, oh, and this is also a library copy. So they did a good job of getting the library copies out uh, this time for this bag sale. They put out a really, they put out a lot of library titles, and I was happy to see it. Um, they weren't all just snagged up and, you know, ran with. I still think a lot of them are, but for this one, it was, it was okay. Uh, next, I got uh, Death on the Nile. With our, our with Wonder Woman there, Gal Gadot, even though uh, and this is was uh, this Kenneth Branagh starred and directed this as well, uh, Hercules Poirot. Uh, okay, I uh, got got some TV series here. I got the complete series of the Snoop Sisters. This is a really charming. Um, this is actually the Wheel of Mystery on NBC Universal. This came out along with Columbo, um, like uh, Heck Ramsey, uh, with um, uh, several uh, Macmillan and Wife. I think this came out a little later than that, but it was, you get the idea. They had a wheel, a cir they had a circle, and every week a different uh, a different mystery with a different cast would take place. And I do believe there's about ten episodes in here, maybe. Maybe maybe six. It might have only been six. It didn't last very long, but um, but it was very cute. So I got this. All right, uh, and because this was so cheap, I went ahead and I picked it up. I had really no desire to do it, but it was sitting there. It's less than twenty cents, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I grabbed the fourth season of Sense and Anarchy. So this is the first time I've grabbed this series. I've seen it out there many, many times before. Not so much lately. The last six, seven months, I haven't seen any copies of Sons and Anarchy. 
when I was at the library before the pandemic, that's all we saw was the Sons of Anar Anarchy and Breaking Bad. Um, but have not seen it out in a while for a long time. Uh, so when I saw this, I went ahead and picked it up. Yeah, they were selling their yeah they're they're selling their DVDs at a C DVD sale before the bag sale, uh, where everything was twenty five cents. So I got all this at the bag sale, and it was still less than twenty five cents. It's like twenty cents a copy of everything I got here. Uh, okay, uh, I got something really cool. Uh, I got a couple. I found a couple of Food Network uh, 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 series, and I. It's called uh, Food Network Celebrates. I love this stuff. This, this, me and Lori watch Food Network all the time. So this is just uh, comfort food for me. Um, and this one here is, uh, uh, features um, Rachel Ray, uh, Michael Chiarello, and uh, Paula Dean. So this is early Food Network. This is like when they first went on, when they actually did cooking on the Food Network, right? Remember when they used to do cooking on the show? Uh, on the network, uh, so this one's spring entertain spring entertaining with those three hosts. So I got that, and uh, got another. Found another one there too. And this one is Mother's Day, and it features the barefoot Contessa Ina Garten, uh, Paula Dean, and uh, of course the lovely uh, uh, Giada De Laurentiis. We had a girl at, at, at my job at my Home Depot named uh, Heather, who looks just like Giada. I thought we all we all called her Giada. So um, that was good. That, most of the time, I don't get to see Food Network stuff. The only time I've ever found Food Network is uh, at the Goodwill. It's the first time I've seen a Food Network outside of the Goodwill. All right, we're still going on here. Um, we got a collection of. Uh, uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Really happy to find this. This is this is fun, super fun. Uh, I love Rogers and, and Astaire and Rogers, so this is cool. There's four movies here: Roberta, Follow the Fleet, um, the story of Vernon and Irene Castle, uh, famous dancers here, and then of course Flying Down the Rio. I believe Flying Down the Rio might have June Allison in it. I. I I think so, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. I thought it was, but... That's from Warner Brothers. And then I got this flipper disc. I'm not sure if I have this. If I do have this, I will put this... I will send this to somebody who needs it, but I'm, I don't think I have this yet. Uh, I hope that I'm wrong, because I would love to give this to somebody, to tell you the truth. Uh, but I picked up a copy of The Long Kiss Goodnight. Fantastic movie. This is a fantastic movie. This was so cool. Uh, you had Gina Davis uh, going against type. Um, you had Samuel Jackson. This is, his, this is his first big role. This was his first big role. This is, yeah. Uh, this also has Greg Burkill in it. And David Morse was in it. And playing a bad guy shocked i was like what uh this is a fun fun movie uh gina davis you you it's it, it you know it's really interesting how her character goes from being sweet and housewife to a badass and uh she goes into she takes it to the limit to her her charlie baltimore is amazing so that's that um then i got a new one here um this one's marry me with Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson, which I've heard this is very cute. This is very charming, and I'm looking forward to seeing this. I, I know you know a lot of people came out and said, eh, it's another, this is another rom-com, but uh, especially the pairing between Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson, it's not my first choice for that to work, but I guess it does work. I, every, everybody I said that saw this movie, they liked it, so... Um, I'm going to give it a chance. I like Jennifer Lopez. I, I like her. And if Owen Wilson isn't isn't just freestyling, uh, he can actually be a pretty good actor when he's not uh, uh, improv all the time. So, okay. All right. Uh, moving on to some uh, DVDs. 
uh, have some Blu-rays. Uh, picked up Ryan Gosling, First Man. This I do believe this will be an upgrade for me. This is going to be an upgrade. I got this on disc, so it's going to be an upgrade. Uh, next, I got a copy of The Town, which I have never seen before. I don't own, so I got a copy of The Town. 20 cents a piece, kids. 20 cents a piece. Okay, and then I got some stupid hero stuff. Uh, I upgraded too. I upgraded my X-Men to Blu-ray. I have this on DVD. I even have a box set, but I upgraded it uh, on DVD, on Blu-ray. Uh, I upgraded on X-Men Days of Future Past. I got a copy of Real Steel. With Hugh Jackman. Uh, I believe I have a copy of Wreck-It Ralph. I believe so. I just have to make sure it's on either on Blu-ray or not. If I do have an extra copy of this, uh, Katie, I will be sending this to you. Any Disney, any Disney doubles I get, I'm going to send to you, Katie. So, there you go. Uh, let's see. I upgraded on the X-Men The Last Stand. So I have this on Blu-ray now. Uh, let's see. And I got a couple of fun ones here. Um, I found the Disney Short Films Collection. I don't have this, so this is new to me. Uh, I upgraded to Big Hero 6. I had this on, on Blu-ray, but I, I went ahead and I got all reject films and, and waffles, and I got a slipcover fever, so I kept it with slipcover, so. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then I got upgraded this, um, the road cut for X-Men The Days of Future Past. I got the road cut. Didn't think I'd ever find something like this out there. So they did two versions of uh, Days of Future Past. They did the theatrical cut, and then they did the Rogue cut, and that's featuring Anna Paquin as Rogue here. All right, and the last thing I got to double check, make sure I do or not. I think I might have this. I'm not sure. I'll do it. I just grabbed it because it was only 20 cents. Uh, I picked Inside Out. I'm not sure if I have this or not, but I'll soon check. And if I do... I'm sending this to you, Katie. All right, so that's all I got at the library. Uh, so it was a good haul. I was happy with it. Hopefully, they'll go back and, um, you know, go back and bring out the, the, the library movies again so we can all enjoy them. Um, so a lot, of new, a lot of new stuff, a lot of upgrades. Happy about that. A lot of superhero stuff hitting the shelf now, too, kids. Uh, tons of superhero stuff. A lot of MCU stuff is hitting the shelf. Um, that's that's a good thing, I guess, because uh, I still am missing a few, so I would like to catch up. All right, so that's it for me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the sub button, uh, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, what do you think of my haul? If you were going to watch anything first, what would you watch and why? Leave a comment down below, and uh, we'll see you uh, we'll see you tomorrow night or later on tonight. Uh, for our interview with animal rescuer uh, Laura uh, Lobritz uh, Gadras. And then tomorrow we have uh, Chris, Chrissy uh, Georgiana uh, Peters. And then on Friday at 9 p.m. we have Sean Kane, uh, excellent director and editor and my friend. And uh, we'll be talking to Sean on Friday at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. All right, boys and girls, thanks so much for watching, and we will see you soon. Peace.